Hello guys, it's NSAS. Yeah, I know it's early, but I wanted to do something kind of different. It's another reaction, though, and I'm actually here for the premiere of it. Today I'm going to be listening to uh, Gold Rush by Fex. For those uninformed, uh, Fex is the band behind Subways of Your Mind, which... For a long time before this, it was known as the most mysterious song on the internet. And essentially, the reason it was called that is because no one was able to identify it for upwards of 17 years. No one was able to identify the original artist or the actual name of the song itself. It was kind of just an empty cold case after this uh this person from Germany uploaded a few snippets of tapes made by her brother. Um, and, uh, and she put in, like, a request to try and identify with something, and that didn't go anywhere. Um, but it was ultimately found again after, uh, someone... I, I don't remember the exact story, but I'm on Wikipedia right now, and it says, uh, Reddit user u slash margin1412 claimed to have identified the song as Subways of Your Mind by the German group Vex. Um, yeah, according to the user, the band member confirmed that Vex was the creator of the song. And, uh, they planned to re-release it later. But that was only afterwards, because from what I read, they didn't even know that it was a viral internet phenomenon and stuff. It just kind of slipped past them. And, and, uh, but after that, they've since been fairly active. So, I mean, uh, the Former band members have since reunited and done an acoustic version. And they also, uh, we also got a few more songs by them. But this is the first time we're getting one of the previously unreleased songs. So uh, apparently this song is from the B-side of a demo cassette that they handed out at concerts. And it's called Gold Rush. Uh, so yeah. Um, and... The countdown started, but it seems that there's uh, a four-minute wait, so I'm just going to skip ahead. See you in a bit. Okay, we're up a 10-second mark, so I'm just going to do this and hope that the people in their voices don't get on the microphone threshold. I like it already. Let's see. Definitely very 80s, but what did I expect? Yeah, I could. I could see myself listening to this. I love that it's not too heavy on anything this time. It, it's very different from what I expected from their style, but... I love the synths there.
kind of reminds me of something that w would be made by Talk Talk, with a little bit of there's another group in there like Depeche Mode. And again, I don't really listen to Depeche Mode, but I've heard a few of their songs. Yeah, I could listen to this. Very nostalgic. I could see the Genesis influence. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the live chat while saying this. And this one fades out. Okay. That was Gold Rush by Fex. And I'll say it. While it's not exactly my new favorite song by them, it's definitely in the top. Well, six. Yeah, I should mention they only technically recorded six or seven songs. I don't know the exact number. Um. But, um, you know, I mean, I, I forgot what I was going to say, sorry, uh, but they only recorded like five or six, seven songs, so, um, I think my personal favorite is still Subways of Your Mind, but that may be just because I'm a bit biased, and so, you know. Aside from that, uh, I want to uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and also subscribe to the official FEX channel, which I will have uh, linked on the, in the video description, as well as the end card up there. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching comment like and subscribe check out the official fex channel for any of the new songs that they're posting as well as any potential updates from them i guess a lost wave is a very big portion of my life and i will see you in the next video bye, -bye. Yes.